Um, welcome to this short video. Like I've said, 2023, like every other year in our academic calendar, we conduct census. That's annual school census, where we know the details about every school, the total number of teachers, the teacher's information, the total number of students. This time around, we are not even taking only the number. We also take the names and their various levels. And also everything about the school, where the school is located, the name of the head, and every detail about the school is being done. So this year, we have no change, just that we are trying to make things simple for, for every school to make. And we have also found out that when people are working online, it makes it difficult for them. So this is what we are doing. We will give you an Excel template, you work in it, then you send it through the office mail, which will be given to you, the particular mail you have to send it to. When you send it to it, then we will do the uploading for you. When you submit it through the office mail, then we will do the uploading to HQ, that is head office, at Accra for you. So you don't need to worry yourself doing all those steps. Like I have said, this short video is just to cover one of the three things that we are taking into consideration. That is the teacher's profile about the teacher, the teacher profile and that of the non teaching staff for the Tibet schools, that's Technical and Vocational Educational Institute, and that of the senior high schools. With the senior high schools, they also need to work with the non teaching staff. So, Tibet and See, SHS, both private and public, will give us their teaching and non-teaching staff. But with the basic schools, our focus is on the teaching staff. So when I open any of the Excel sheets, so this is for the senior high school, you see the teaching staff and the non-teaching staff. Teaching staff, non-teaching staff. And like I've said, when you start working on the Excel template, the first thing you need to do is to come to the school profile and fill this information. You type the name of the school, the any school, the year the school is established, the level or the type of school, whether private or public, then you type the digital address, then select the circuit in which your school is, then you type the name of the head and the contact. When you are done with that, then you can start working with the teacher's profile. Uh, use various videos to explain the other like the school identity and the enrollment so that this same thing applies to the tibet so with tibet you will also have to fill the school profile in that order so so tibet an example of tibet school is St. Anne's, so St. Anne's Vocational Institute or Community Development and Vocational Technology Institute at POM or St. Anne's at Noasso. So these are the two best schools that we have then you enter your enemy schools which you know every school has an enemy school and the year the school is established the status whether private or public you fill it you come to the teacher profile where you start with one so teacher profile the first teacher you type the name of the teacher the same name or the last name first so um maybe let me type my then the manual i will always want to use my then the staff id of that teacher the staff id of the teacher you type something you type the staff id of that teacher 
then the gender you select male female then the date of birth marital status so date of birth maybe um 28th to may 29th or whatever then the year of that teacher maybe 1975 you type it Immediately you type, it will give you the day. So it's telling you that, that May is on a Thursday. Then the marital status. Married, single, divorced, separated. Then registered number. If you're having a registered number, you, you type. So I'm having a registered number. And a year. So it goes. Then you type your NTC so I also have my I have my NTC number I type if you are not having if a teacher is not having that's not an issue then date of first appointment date of first appointment then your Ghana card please with a Ghana card you start with the GHA and give dash and you can type the number of the Ghana card there and this in the order then you type your snake you type your snake number then you move on then your current rank you select a rank if you are not of any you can select none but if you are having any of these ranks maybe any of these rank ps ad2 ad1 bd you know them you know the ranks of the teachers then you can easily work with that then the date posted to the rank the highest qualification, the management unit, that's the school, the name of the school, you indicate it. Because we'll be compiling school by school. This is for the senior high school, so you said that it's asking. Well, so it gives you then the area of the speciality of the teacher, maybe Ghanaian language or special education or whatever area that teacher has. The next subject can really teach. Then it moves on to the number of weeks. Then additional responsibility, contact of the teacher. Then the salary type and point. In the private schools, you can ignore this place, but with the public schools, you, you need to fill it. The bank account, the branch, and account details, everything of this. When you are done, you you will send it to the email which will be given to you you receive everything through the official office email then we will compile all this and send it to each you and the same thing applies to the non-teaching staff so you get all the information about every non-teaching staff and you are good to go so this is about the 2023 census and we are making it simple that you can work offline when you are done you will listen through the mail which will give you the mail thank you i believe this video has helped on how to fill the teacher profile how to fill the teacher profile thank you very much and whether you are in tibet senior high school or basic school as a head decision you must make sure teachers or the one in charge to work on this teacher profile and enrollment and everything thank you and god bless you till we meet again